grew up with Disney movies knows that they can get pretty dark. Mufasa gets trampled to death in The Lion King, Quasimodo's mother is brutally killed in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but many of Disney's animated classics have had to soften or remove the more gruesome or depressing aspects of the fairy tales that they were based on. Make sure you let us know if we forgot any in the comments below. Here is Screen Man's Dark Disney, real stories behind popular Disney films. Tangled Disney's Tangled puts a different spin on Rapunzel's charming prince. Instead, the long-haired heroine is helped down from her tower by a thief named Flynn Rider. In the original story, the escape never even takes place. Mother Gothel discovers Rapunzel's plans and casts her out into the desert, where she eventually gives birth to twins and lives in misery for years. Her handsome prince is tricked into climbing the tower to find Gothel waiting for him at the top. She throws him from the tower into a thorn bush that pokes out his eyes. The poor prince is left to wander for years, completely blind, and surviving only by eating grass and roots. The lovebirds eventually meet and Rapunzel cures his blindness with a magic tear. They live happily ever after, and probably both pretty traumatized. Pinocchio You might think that Disney's version of Pinocchio is dark enough already, especially the scene where a bunch of misbehaving children get horribly transformed into donkeys. Still, Pinocchio makes it out alright by the end of the film with the help of his good friend and conscience, Jimmy Cricket. What happens to the lovable Jimmy Cricket in Carlo Galotti's original novel, you might ask? Well, he doesn't get a chance to sing about wishing upon a star. When the talking cricket shows up to offer Pinocchio a bit of moral guidance, Pinocchio immediately murders him with a mallet, and is haunted by the ghost of the dead cricket throughout the rest of the book. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Like many animated Disney films, early classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs ends with the villain getting their comeuppance. After trying unsuccessfully to kill Snow White several times, the evil queen falls off a cliff, gets crushed by a boulder, and then vultures descend to feed upon her corpse. It doesn't get any darker than that, right? Well, in the Brothers Grimm version of the story, the queen is forced to put on a pair of glowing hot iron shoes and dance in them until she dies. Suddenly falling off a cliff doesn't sound so bad. Cinderella Disney Cinderella is forced to play servant to her wicked stepmother and ugly stepsisters, but is eventually rewarded with a handsome prince and a royal castle to live in. In the Brothers Grimm version of the story, Cinderella's stepsisters are so desperate to get the glass slipper on that they cut off bits of their feet to try and make it fit. It works, but all the blood kind of gives them away. To make matters worse, when the stepsisters attend Cinderella's wedding, birds descend on them and peck out their eyes. Frozen Disney's Frozen is very loosely based on a book called The Snow Queen by Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. In the original version of the story, a demonic troll creates a looking glass that reflects even the most beautiful things back as being ugly and hideously distorted. When the mirror is accidentally shattered, the pieces scatter all over the world. Splinters of glass land in people's hearts, turning them cold and cruel, or in their eyes, making them incapable of seeing beauty. One unfortunate little boy gets a splinter in his heart and his eye, corrupting him so much that he runs away to live with the powerful Snow Queen. This fairy tale does at least have a happy ending, but it doesn't have a happy snowman. The Little Mermaid Hans Christian Andersen is also the writer behind The Little Mermaid, which Disney adapted in 1989 and sprinkled with some classic songs, a great villain, and a characteristically happy Disney ending. The original story is considerably more depressing. First off, after The Little Mermaid is given human legs, every step she takes feels as though the soles of her feet are being stabbed with knives. To make matters worse, the prince ends up marrying someone else and never finds out that The Little Mermaid was the woman who saved him from drowning. The Little Mermaid is given a chance to get her tail back by stabbing the prince in the heart, but she can't bear to kill him and instead throws herself into the ocean to her death, where her body dissolves into froth. Sleeping Beauty A handsome, charming prince is a common trope in Disney movies, and they're usually the perfect gentleman. In Disney's Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora and Prince Philip meet each other and fall in love in the forest, and Philip later rescues Aurora from an enchanted sleep. It's a lot more romantic than the 17th century author Giambattista Basile's version of the story, in which Sleeping Beauty is discovered by a passing king. Instead of breaking the spell, he rapes the sleeping woman and then leaves, forgetting all about her. The poor girl wakes up nine months later after having given birth to two children with no idea what happened. Those are our favorite dark versions of Disney fairy tales. Have you heard any grim variations on Happy Kids movies? 
Share your favorite gruesome fairy tales in our comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more Screen Rant videos like this one.